Um, but they are giving a little boy girl. I was on Jenny Craig and I lost 100 pounds in just three days with Jenny Craig. I'm calling the police. Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. It is your girl Simone Nicole here. Back at it again with yet another video, and today's video is going to be a fashion haul. If you guys have been around my channel for any length of time, for well, no, since the dead beginning, then you would know that I used to love doing fashion content, and I really want to get back to that. I really just wanted to show you guys the looks that I'm going to be serving when I go to the tropics. By the time you guys see this, I will either be in Costa Rica. I really hope to get the video uploaded while I'm on vacation. But if not, then it'll be up when I get back from being on vacation. It is going to be a Shein slash Pretty Little Things haul. And baby, when I got that Pretty Little Thing package, I thought that they robbed me. Because it was giving very much plastic. It, was giving, it wasn't giving the girls what the girls wanted to be given. But once I started trying everything on, I said, don't play with a bitch. I'm going to show you guys what I got. And before we get started, we of course have to do our subscriber shout out of the day. Today's subscriber shout out is going to go to Born Pretty SA. She commented or they commented, I'm just going to go with they. They commented on my last reacting to TikTok's video and they said, seeing you on my TO makes me smile. You're so uplifting. Thank you so much for um, such kind words and for supporting me, commenting on my videos and just sending some love, putting some love out into this world. I appreciate it so, so much. And if you would like to be my next subscriber shout out in my next video, then all you have to do is one, be subscribed and two, comment, say something nice, say something sweet to you girl and maybe you could be my next subscriber shout out of the day. And with all that being said, let's get into this haul. Okay, so one of the reasons that I was a little slow to upload this type of content is because I want to try to divorce myself from fast fashion as much as possible. Um, if you guys don't know why fast fashion is bad for our environment, it's bad ethically, it's just kind of bad all around. Then there's like a million different articles about it, a million different YouTube's, um, YouTube videos about it. Basically, fast fashion just isn't good ethically and I try my best um, to change small things so that I can make an impact because Contrary to popular belief, small changes really do help over time. As someone very aptly pointed out in one of their videos, it's a privilege to not have to shop fast fashion, right? Like these big ethically made clothing houses are one, expensive as hell, two, very, very non-inclusive. They don't go over a certain size and if they go over that certain size, you're paying a pretty penny for the products that you get. And the reality is that like, 80 90 percent of us cannot afford to spend 50 dollars on a tank top and 200 dollars on a pair of jeans and the way i kind of look at it is that i try to i try to stay away from more trendy pieces and try to go for more pieces that i know that i can wear um, for a long period of time and over some years and i will continue to wear pieces until i run them into the ground so Anyway, chat. But as my bag grows i will be able to be more ethically conscious but for right now we about to get into this pretty little thing that she in, okay? So this top is from Pretty Little Thing. I got this top in an extra small. Um, honestly, it does not feel like an extra small at all. We were filming the show today. I have a Snapchat show, if you guys didn't know. We were filming the show today. And at the end, we were saying bye, and I leaned to the side, and my nipple fell out, child. Uh, oh. Hold on. Everyone, we have to re-record it, because my nipple fell out. <laughs> I had a little Janet. I had a little Janet moment. I did. That nipple came out. I said, oh no. So I'm going to get a couple of other pieces altered and I thought that um, I would get this top altered but I can probably do it myself. The issue really is, is that there's just too much extra fabric and this is an extra small. I'm like, I'm a, like, I don't got no nins so I am like an extra small but I'm not, I'm, I'm not like an extra small. So like, what are the true extra smalls doing in this world? Like, I need at least like this much fabric gone but 
it was pretty cheap i'll have the price of the items um up on the screen and i'll also have everything linked down below so that you guys can shop the pieces if you would like to and um that's it for this top so this next piece is a skirt from shein it is pretty cute i wonder let me turn the camera so that um maybe i can angle it so that you guys can see in the mirror with me yeah i just want you guys to see the length of the piece more than anything else so this is about how long it sits as far as fit it fits okay this is another piece that i wanted to get altered but i realized that they probably want you to wear it like kind of like down here i think which is like i mean cute i guess but all of a sudden i'm giving like librarian like i'm giving boho girl from california to wear these this type of skirt with some doc martens and that's not really what i'm trying to give i'm trying to get lying in the tropics i'm trying to give like leg out you know like a little moment you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm trying to give with this one and i knew when i bought it that it wasn't going to fit me properly because i always get my things bigger than necessary um because i want them to fit over my enormous <laughs> and in order to accommodate that this part is usually almost always not going to fit so i anticipate on having to get this altered because i feel like this is a moment and i actually bought this top to go with this skirt she's cute she's a moment i'm trying to change up you know my style a little bit so i just thought this was a cute little moment you know okay am i the only one that refuses to take off a tag until i actually like wear it wear it this is the next piece i actually really like these shorts and this is what i was the most nervous about however i am annoyed i got these from pretty little things and i got them from the shape section and if you have ever shopped on pretty little thing and you are like more of an hourglass shape then you know what the shape section is and it's supposed to be tailored to that smaller waist and bigger butt problem is is that it is definitely not yeah and i have on actual underwear too i do not have the underwear on for this try on haul but here we are um i need to get these tailored to get this part taken in i feel like <laughs> i was joking on my instagram story today follow me on instagram you guys are following me on instagram um as soon as i put this scarf on and i had this little wig on because i didn't like how my hair was looking today i instantly felt like that one dude that always be talking about how like pov a girl with a bbl is x y and z i i feel like i am i am her she is me except for i didn't get a bbl because <laughs> these shorts they be giving because a big problem that i have and something that i hate is when i'm walking and the fabric will start to ride up in between and my thighs will start to rub together a bit i don't have an extreme problem with that but my like my thighs rubbing together and starting to shake is not a problem for me because my thighs don't touch a super ton actually but a bigger problem i hate when my stuff starts to vacuum. I don't know if you guys called it that. In middle school, we used to call it vacuuming. I hate when that happens, but these ones, they're going to stay where they are. I'm gonna have them tailor these, and then these are gonna be super cute. I like the wash of them. I got these in a size, I think eight. If they're UK size 12, then I'm pretty sure I got them in a size eight. I think I got all my bottoms in the eight. I usually get my bottoms in a size six, but I am carrying a little bit more weight on me than I usually am. But I mean, a few extra pounds never really hurt nobody, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. so yeah, I really, really love these shorts. And that's it. Why am I still talking about these? They're cute, they're basic. This next piece are these pair of jeans that I got from Shein. Um, these, I absolutely love these. They fit really, really well with the exception of, you know, you know the vibes. But I already knew, I already knew it was good. I forget what size I got these in. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, I wanna, they're probably like an eight. I don't think I would've gone as big as a 10. Um, but these fit so well i'm gonna turn one more time so that you guys can see yeah in the mirror you guys can see the length they're long way from up here i'm gonna have on a really really simple pair of heels um and like this okay so yeah i'm gonna oh yeah you can kind of see both of us like you can see like the full length me and the regular me um i am gonna get these tailored to take that away love these jeans the quality of them feels really good i know that i'll be be able to keep these for years i can feel it and you can dress these up you can dress these down 
I really like them. This top is so cute, right? Like you're like, oh my gosh, Simone, what a cute little girly moment. And then it's a little under boob moment, cool, 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 cool. But you see how the under boob moment is happening? So what do you think happens if you, I don't know, reach up to grab something? It's upsetting. I can't even shrug my shoulders. My titty is out. I know it's a bar over my titty so you can't see them. Cause I can't even pick my purse and put it on my shoulder. It's honestly comical. It's honestly atrocious. Um, I can take it to the tailor to see if they can do anything with it. I really don't know. But it's looking slow for the kid because this is a really cute top. And I think it looked like this on the model, but in my head I was like, oh, my titties is real small. And I thought it'd be a little structure underneath here. like. Maybe not like a full on underwire, but maybe just like some boning underneath here, some something. If your titty is not an A cup sitting flat to your chest like mine, and your titty got a li even a little bit of hang time, what's the shirt? If you are completely flat chested and you are willing to take this down to your chest because you really love this shirt, it was super cheap too because it was some shin. I mean, go off baby, but just know that your mobility is going to be very limited. You know what? You can wear it to your sneaky link. Wear it to your sneaky link. He gonna be like, why you come dressing on in clothes? And you gonna be like, what clothes? Undressed, halfway there. So what you're not about to do is play with it. Do y'all see how I'm coming? Ooh, and then I'm gonna have it sit, sit a little low. So they could really be that like, oh, she's an effortless girl. While it is not like the most luxuriously soft, silky material, no. Um, I do think that it is worth what you pay for it. I love this. Um, I'm probably just gonna wear a little thongy thong with this little piece here with this little number. It is gonna be so cute. I'm gonna put on a pair of like heels. Oh, I can already see the pictures, baby. The only thing that I wish is that I wouldn't have gotten this top in a two. I don't really know who I thought I was playing with when I did that because the clip, first of all, it's just a very, very difficult top to get into because the opening or like the zipper is here. I don't think that that's the most user friendly, but that's just me because I can't even zip this all the way down. It's literally resting on my ribs, like, and I can't get it to close. So a two is small, like, but the skirt fits beautifully. I got it in an eight. I was really nervous it was gonna be too big. Um, if I wanted to be extra picky, then maybe I can get it altered, but it's not supposed to be like a perfect fit kind of piece. I absolutely love this. I love the color story. I love the way that I look. I don't love this with the scarf, it's too much. It's giving too much of those vibes. Like the scarf just takes it a little far. Um, but baby, I'm gonna be giving the looks. I ain't come to play. I ain't come to play with y'all. It's giving simple, effortless, island gal. That's what it's giving and that's exactly what I wanted it to give, baby. I wanted just a simple little dress that I could throw on like Maybe I'll wear this on the first night that we get there, after the plane lands, take a little shower, throw this on, wait for everybody else to get there, settle in, take a couple shots, have a little drink. Like this is that type of dress. It just connects right here in the middle. And then the back is cut out. You know, all little girlies got a dress like this. And it's like short, but not like, you can see my cervix short but like short enough to give the vibes, you know? Um, and I would feel comfortable walking around in this. Probably, I wouldn't wear this out. Um, I would wear this like if there's a beach near our house and we like go walking along the beach at night. Like, do you ever like have an outfit and then like make up a whole entire scenario as to where this outfit is gonna be like going? Like, because who am I walking on the beach at night with? I'm going, I'm going to triple my family. I love this piece. I think it would flatter a lot of body shapes, honestly, because the cutouts really give you like a cute little like sexy illusion moment. That is the dress. I'm cute. Mm -mm. Don't play with me. It's really upsetting because this looks really good on camera, but I'm calling the police. 911. It's a white woman in danger. White woman in danger? I know that it probably looks like fine, on camera, but it it's not giving. It's not giving. Um, it's my fault though. I got them in an eight, which is like way too big. Like this is this is a lot. This is it's giving. I was on Jenny Craig and I lost 
100 pounds in just three days with Jenny Craig. That's what the hell is given, and I'm not with it. And then on the flip side of that, what size did I get this time? I don't understand this. I have small breasts. Okay, I cannot emphasize this enough. It's giving boy, okay? It's giving boy, and ever since I gained some weight, um, it's giving boy at the beginning of puberty. When I say one false swoop, and my nip I know that this looks cute, it looks like I called 911 for no reason. I'm, I actually dislike this so much, I am gonna send it back. Um, I liked it because I thought it could be very cute for like when we go out and like do things, but it just looks very cheaply made. Like it looks like you got this off of Pretty Little Things. It looks ill-fitting. I don't feel cute. I don't feel secure. I feel like my booty's gonna be looking like this. I'm not with it. I'm over it. It's done. Hang it up. If I told y'all once, I'm not gonna tell y'all again. Don't play with other. Okay. Don't play. Do you see what I'm giving? This this set comes from Doja Cat's collaboration with Pretty Little Thing. So this is a Pretty Little Thing piece. This is my favorite outfit out of all of the outfits. I absolutely love this outfit. I got the bottom in a size eight, and I was ODM with the top. I got the top in a size two. Don't really know why I chose to do that, but I did. Here we are, girl. Don't play with. This is such a flattering outfit. Oh my goodness. I cannot recommend this outfit enough. I feel so beautiful in this. Um, I love it. So for this outfit, I don't actually plan on wearing these two pieces together. The bottoms I got from Pretty Little Thing and then the top I got from Shein. I really like this top a lot. I did not pay a lot of money for it and I think that the bigger your boobs are, the better this will look. How many times am I going to say? I feel like always in these videos, I'm always talking about how I got in the cities and people be in the comments like, no girl, like you got something. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. It's not necessary. It's okay. I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm not fishing for, I make fun of it because I really don't care at all. I, I my best friend growing up used to call me young man because I was flat chested. So I am so okay with not having any titties. The last thing I need is WBs, but this is WB back here. Like I am so okay with being flat chested, okay? I absolutely love this top. The color of it is being washed out just a tad. I wouldn't wear with these shorts and I was trying to decide on whether or not I like these shorts because it's giving vacuum. I know that when I start to walk, it's, they're going to vacuum straight up. They're gonna end up looking like this. These were definitely a pair of shorts where I'm just like, these feel cheap. Um, but they are cute. They do have pockets. Um, they fit well. They actually fit me. No gappages. No nothing. Um, but they are giving a little boy girl. But yeah, that is this outfit ensemble. Now let's get into bathing suits and then we will wrap up this video. Put me on somebody's yacht. Put me on a yacht, please. Put me on a yacht. This is going to be my boat um, swimming suit bathing suit and then I also first of all I don't have a wax that no I don't look that way this outfit is so stinky this well okay so I was a tad disappointed with the bathing suit because on the website it looked a lot more purple than what it is actually giving in person so I don't love that but I really like if I take this okay let me take this little shirt off for like a second the bathing suit itself, if you're not someone that loves to show like a ton of skin, but you want to get something that flatters you, I like this. I don't think that there, I'm like, if you don't want to show a ton of skin, <laughs> um, I really like this. Um, I know that it's probably not, I'm going to have to just work better at tying this, but the back actually, um, it isn't that bad. I'm just going to show you like in reference to the mirror because child, I had a swimsuit haul before and then men were coming through crazy on that and i just wasn't a fan so i'm not going to turn around but it's not too 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 cheeky if you can see it you can kind of see it from the side it's not too too cheeky for my body shape with swimsuits i like things that come up higher um because i am a shorter person i want to give the illusion that i am taller um for reference i'm only five two i get that question a lot i'm only five foot two i'm a pony with a stallion attitude you feel me as far as the top goes, this would be so good if you had like a full C. This type of like top would be so cute. And then there's this ring detail here. I'm, it's pretty similar to my skin tone, so you can't really see it. But there's like a ring detail here. 
and then there's an underwire in here. It is super cute. It's not like a, I'm going to the pool. Um, it's a I'm going to the tropics and I want to be on the beach and I want to take a couple cute pictures and thirst trap on the gram. I have this to go along with it. This is definitely what I'll be wearing on the boat. Um, it is a pearlescent kind of color. I actually really like that. I probably should have gotten that color, but this was actually on sale. Um, I got it in a size medium so I could make sure it was like really like um, overly fitted. And I could like, if I'm sitting somewhere and I'm a little uncomfortable, I can fully be covered up. And I just still look so glamorous. Like I love the way that it reflects on camera. So yeah, I really love this swimsuit set. Um, it was a little more e expensive, I guess you could say. It was my most expensive swimsuit, which is fine. I got it specifically for the day that we will be on someone's boat. So yes, really love this. And last but not the least, we have this. It's a super, super, super basic bathing suit. But the reason why I really love it and kind of the, the message that I want to end off on this video, um, I loved it because as soon as I looked in the mirror, I did not care about the extra pounds that I have on me right now. I don't know. I just kind of feel like now I have an attachment to this bathing suit simply because of that, because I feel like I, I don't know, like I feel like we're always paying so much attention to how our body looks and where the pounds are settling in and when, where they're not and what you look like and this extra roll here, and this extra this here, like do I wish that some parts weren't here? Sure, but I really don't care actually. I love my body so much. I really do, through its ups, through its downs, through its skinny, through its big, through its whatever. Um, I absolutely love myself in this bathing suit. I love the high cut of it. I love where it sits. I wish that these were just a little thicker so that they didn't have a chance of rolling at all because these could potentially roll, but they're actually staying pretty well. Um, I'll turn to the side so that you guys can see. My full behind is not out, but it is like as much as a bathing suit could cover. But I absolutely love this. I love it on my skin. I love it on me. I just always want to set an example for you guys and really show you guys like love who you are and where you are at no matter what state that you are in okay all right guys that's gonna bring us to the end of today's try on haul but well, hopefully you guys were entertained and saw a few pieces that you might want to get for yourself it's all very much affordable thank you guys so much as always for watching and i will see you guys super duper soon in the next video which will be a vlog of my time in costa rica so you will be seeing a lot of these outfits in the vlog like all of these outfits in the vlog thank you guys so much for joining me make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel follow me over on instagram and check out my new show on snapchat called swipe talk and with all that being said remember to keep positivity in your life because positivity breeds positivity and we have no time for negativity in 2021 i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys